I'm AJ, and I'd like to talk to you today about social media. To begin with, I believe strongly the answers are to look to two behaviors within your customers and your prospects to determine how much value you're going to get from an investment in social media. The first thing is the industrial buying cycle. Now, if you're at this show, whether you're an exhibitor or whether you're an attendee, whether you're a small manufacturer, a large manufacturer, the industrial buying cycle or the buying cycle that your customers go through when investigating, selecting, and ultimately purchasing a, techni a technical solution, there are answers in there for your social media. Besides this being the steps and stages that they go through, you also have to look at how long it takes for a customer to go from discovery, that is discovering you, or discovering a technology, or the need for a technology. Now, for a second, what that means is everybody here uses the web for something, right? I don't, sir, I don't want to know what you use it for, but, but, but the rest of us, you know, we Google every day, we're online every day, we shop online, right? But it all begins with the recognition of a need. Well, same for this guy, but I'm talking about y'all's needs. It starts with a need, right? I, I need water filters. I need cutting tools. I need to find a new source for dielectric fluid because my source has gone out of business. Whatever, you start with a need. What I mean here is discovery, that realizing a need through fulfillment, that is the purchase. So to determine the steps that they go through in order to arrive at a decision, that's what I'm talking about the buying cycle. How long does it take for your customers on average to discover they have a need before they select a technology? Also, how complex is that buying cycle? How much do they have to go through to validate a purchase of that technology? Now, if it's a consumable like cutting tools, that's one thing. If it is a five-axis machining center, for aerospace applications. That's a little more complex research involved there. A lot, of more, a lot more people have to be involved in that. So that's what I mean by the complexity of the buying cycle. You have to study those behaviors that your customers go through to determine how effective social media is going to be. Because in 2012, there's something called content decay in social media. When you post a tweet, who here uses Twitter? Well, for those of you that don't, when you post something on Twitter, hugely popular, but when you post something on Twitter, almost immediately it's being stepped on by other posts, right? So it starts to fall down in priority, and it gets pushed down. That's the decay. So if what you're selling doesn't hit them at just the right time, if it doesn't hit them right when they happen to have that need, it's likely going to get pushed and not even be recognized at all. So it's important for you, the longer the, the buying cycle, the longer the buying cycle, the more complex the buying cycle, the less likely social media may impact lead generation, even branding for an industrial company. So it's important to take this into account first. The buying cycle that your customers go through to make a selection. Secondly, your own supply chain. Again, if you're at the show, you are a node in a supply chain. I hate to bust your bubble, but you have supply chains around you too. You have suppliers of your own. You have partners. You have customers. You have to reach out and look at your supply chain in order to determine who's there, who's actually using it, or who's not, and what are they using it for. Here are some examples, though, outside of just partners and suppliers. You have financial providers. What are they doing? Distributors, the people that you buy from, large uh, equipment from OEMs, your customers and prospects, of course. You need to select individuals or companies from within these assets and reach out to them. Are any of, are any of your 
companies using social media to market themselves? It's important to take a step back and go out and speak to these people individually, talk to your customers, and ask them, not only are they using it, but who in the organization is using it? Because you may be talking to people in an organization who have nothing at all to do with the people in the organization that you want to speak to. Worse, these people that you're speaking to may not be connected to the people you want to speak to. If you're a shop, if you're a small manufacturer, a contract manufacturer, a discrete parts manufacturer, you want to speak to engineers, you want to speak to design, and you want to speak to purchasing in a large manufacturing company. And yet, most of these companies have put their marketing departments in charge of social media. Understandable, it's early in the game. But you have to understand who are you going to be talking to here. It's important to understand your target before you fire your weapon, right? Study these behaviors. The behaviors of the people you're looking to speak to offer you clues as to how successful a social media strategy can be for your company and how to approach it. Because you're talking about applying resources in your organization. You're talking about getting return on investment. You must be cautious before you come up with a strategy. Be sure to dig deep.